Ross might be out. Taken comfortably, and that's a good catch in the deep. One run needed. This might run away to the boundary. Hello everyone, welcome to State Bat with Devesh. Um, as you know, I have been doing pr program uh, basically focusing on the problems and the constraints uh, in Cricket Canada. Um, so, but uh, you know, recently I heard that we have a sponsorship problem and it is because of there are so many constraints. Uh, we do not have branding, we do not have a tournament. So, rather than you know, giving my comment, I thought that let us invite somebody who has a vast knowledge of this area, who has himself done this in uh, past in Canada. Uh, so, in this regard, I thought let us invite Mr. Atul Ahuja, who is former uh, CEO of Cricket Canada um, and he was also the manager of uh, high performance uh, and in his era, um, uh, he did bring the sponsorship. Uh, so, it is better that we should ask uh, a man who is also a sports administrator, uh, who is a successful IT professional and uh, uh, even bigger uh, entrepreneur. And, uh, and in addition to this talent, he is also a great singer. So, let us uh, talk to Mr. Atul Ahuja, who is in my studio today with me and he will give us all the detail, detail about the sponsorship and branding. Hello sir, how are you? Very good, Devesh. How are you doing? Thanks for coming on my show um, and as you know, we talk about various issues. So, to, today the topic I am going to discuss with you is about cricket administration, uh, sponsorship, building up the brand, yeah. which I thought that and I have been noticing that is lacking in Cricket Canada. So, let us talk about it, but before we go into those topics, uh, I would like to first discuss how did you come into the scene in Cricket Canada? Because before you or after you, we never saw any CEO operating in Cricket Canada. Was it, was it you the first time? I was the first uh, uh, appointed uh, Chief Executive Officer of Cricket Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, uh, but I think uh, ever since there have been uh, some people that have held that position. Not as a formal, if I remember, but anyway. So, what was the reason you have appointed that time? Can you recall some of the uh, stuff went around before your appointment? Well, I was, uh, uh, I applied for the position that I believe came available. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, we went through an interview process. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the ICC wanted um, Canada to have a CEO, a mm -hmm. professional CEO. So, who took the interview, Cricket Canada or ICC? Well, the, uh, there was, um, uh, I was appointed by Cricket Canada mm -hmm. and uh, the interview process was uh, multiple layers, mm -hmm. a lot of people from industry mm -hmm. and the sport who, uh, who interviewed me. Okay, so the real objective was to develop cricket in Canada, uh, uh, build some sponsorship and branding yeah and the high performance you was you were also manager of high performance yeah team okay so that's good congratulations you were appointed as a ceo mm. so how was being the first day of your office what did you feel did you can was, you recall it yeah very much so mm -hmm. uh, it was obviously uh, uh, a day that you walked in and uh, there was a lot to do Mm -hmm. uh, and um, right off the bat, uh, I remember sitting and jotting down things that um, were outlined and detailed mm -hmm. in the expectations that uh, were communicated to me. Mm -hmm. And jotting down and deciding to put into place a plan to implement each of those things. So, before you go further, who was briefing you? The Ben Sanic or who was uh, I, I was reporting to I was reporting ben to Sanic. to the president of the board that time and and yeah and, and there was a board so um. okay so when you assumed the office what was your first initiative which you still remember and you must be proud of what was that well there were uh, um, 
there were a lot of um, uh, initiatives that needed to be uh, either reinforced mm -hmm. that were already in play mm -hmm. and many new initiatives that we wanted to put in place and they would range from uh, you know obviously getting a, a corporate sponsor mm -hmm. uh, getting the government to understand that this is a major sport mm -hmm. and, and and it should be treated uh, as as a uh, as a major sport um, making sure that the team was getting prepped for a world cup qualifier that mm -hmm. was at the time about uh, 14 months away, mm -hmm. um, making sure that uh, we were winning as a lead up to that, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that the national team was also playing top level competition mm -hmm. uh, and which uh, included playing the full member countries. So if I uh, understood correctly, the first objective for a goal for was for you was to make sure that teams qualify for the World Cup in 2011. Absolutely. And actually, you did it, right? So, 2009, yeah. the team actually qualified for 2011 World Cup. Yeah. So, from 2007 to 2009 must be a, like quite a quite a time for you. So, can, yeah. you, can you elaborate on that and tell us that what were the challenges you overcome and all along what was your, your learning process and what you felt about the system and where you see that these are the loopholes I need to plug before I can achieve my target. So, <coughs> you know, we uh, implemented uh, world-class training regimen for the team, mm -hmm. which ranged from engaging a technical analyst to uh, a nutritionist mm -hmm. to a psychologist. Mm -hmm to um, physical trainers, to um, obviously we had uh, a former test player, mm -hmm. Pubra Dasanaka as our head coach. And uh, so um, we were able to create a regimen of regular mm -hmm. uh, practice. And, um, and I knew what was very important is that a large segment of players mm needed to get paid so they could spend more time uh, focusing on preparing. So you want to say uh, it is reality that during your period as a CEO, uh, players were being paid salary or contract some kind yeah, of? Yeah, so, so, so we were able to uh, create a system of contracts. Mm -hmm to make sure that uh, our players were compensated and could spend more time. So in fact, we started a regime of early morning practice at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. and, and just so you know, I mean, I'm sure you do know, mm -hmm. uh, in most top level cricket, you know, you need consistent practice starting early in the day, ideally. The body is the best suited for, you know, high performance activity. So before I go further, what was the, um, what must be the annual revenue for Cricket Canada at that time? Total revenue, like sponsorship, government support, ICC support. It wasn't very much. Uh, Maybe less than half million. <coughs> it wasn't very much. Okay. And 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 when I came on board, so in parallel, and to your point, yeah. unless you have a question, go ahead. No, because I'm confused here uh, because now m our president is saying that we don't have enough money, though there is a. One million surplus. Uh, who, who, who is our president? Uh, Mr. Uh, Ranjit Saini. President of Cricket Canada. Cricket Canada. Okay. Not, not the uh, yeah, Canada yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, we yeah. have a Lieutenant General. We don't have a yeah, president. Yeah, system. Yeah, <laughs> but so uh, he is saying that we don't have enough money and enough tournaments and a structure uh, to give a contract to the customer, uh, to the players. But back in 2009, you actually set up a system through which you were able to give this and we, you were engaging the player full time, like right from the morning till evening. Yes, so so we were able to do that and, yeah. and, and I believe it was uh, done for the first time that uh, there were central contracts for players. Mm. And, and um, so in parallel mm -hmm. to, to the 
to the team development mm. plan that we put in place, there were multiple streams mm. as, as a chief executive mm. that uh, addressed various parts of mm. the system mm -hmm. that cricket needed to be a world-class cricketing nation. Mm. Uh, so in parallel, you know, we put together a national championship mm -hmm. where all provinces played each other, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that's very important so that you were able to see who's the best of the best. Mm -hmm. um, also, it's very important that given our regional disparity, mm -hmm. uh, uh, smaller provinces where you have some great players mm. have the opportunity to showcase their talent. So it's very important. Uh, and, and we were able to find some gems in various parts of the country. Well, Mr. Auja, I will definitely like to believe you and because there is a result to show because you achieved the 2009 qualification. So there must be some uh, good thing going around that time because I was not there so I cannot actually judge. But going with uh, all the media reports and everything, uh, what happened that you got a success of 2009 and then there is a media report coming out that you have been sacked uh, unceremoniously without your terms being completed. So what happened? Why things went wrong? Although the result is on the table to show, but what happened? I, I have no idea. Oh. I, I have no idea. Uh, so, you know, we, we'll go back and talk about, um, we'll go back and talk about, uh, you know, how we were able to bring funds into the system. Um, we were able to lay out a calendar of events for the year. Mm -hmm. And that allowed us to go out and do justice to the sponsors we brought on board. Mm -hmm. um, it was the first time we actually had a sponsor, Scotia Bank came on as sponsor of Cricket Canada. And how much was the sponsorship? Um, again, uh, I let you do your homework on mm -hmm. that. It, it, was, it was a significant uh, sponsorship. Mm -hmm. um, in parallel from a branding standpoint, we also rebranded. Mm. We, we, uh, we changed the name of Canadian Cricket Association mm. to Cricket Canada. Oh. So uh, the logo that you see today is given by you? Is <laughs> well, it's not given by me, but yeah, we uh, I mean, it, it's with the agreement of the whole board, but yeah, so we created that logo okay. and we wanted to modernize mm. uh, the whole um, the whole branding of the sport. Okay, so, so you, you passed the question that you do not want to discuss why you have been sacked and I would like to bring you back that but with a different aspect. When you were sacked, right, uh, Ben Sanik in the media uh, told that uh, he is a fine young man, but his management approach was not consistent with the board's policies. What does that mean? Is that in the media? It is, it is in the media. And I am quoting from the media. Okay. So, can you, uh, just, uh, can uh, you uh, give uh, some hint to us when he gave this a statement in the media, what could be the reason? Uh, there must be some reason. Are you he, too fast-paced for these slow-paced uh, administrator or uh, there is some conflict of power sharing? What was going around in the board, uh, within the board? Can you recall something? There can never be a power sharing. I mean, you know, we the CEO reports into the board, so there's no question about power sharing. Uh, that's There's no question about that. Uh, but uh, no reason was given to me. Hmm. Uh, and... Uh, so no, I, no reason was shared. Okay. Yeah. But then you sued Cricket Canada uh, after that, right? Citing that you have been not paid for, there was some unpaid dues to be completed, so and so forth. So how that conflict was settled? Uh, it was settled. Cricket was Canada settled. settled amicably. Uh, well, as, as for the terms, uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, so so they were settled. The, the mm -hmm. terms, uh, the, it was settled, and uh, uh, and so you know, <coughs> as for the terms of a settlement, uh, mm -hmm. all our, uh, I mean, 
we 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 settled all our uh, yeah but when the things were settled ben senik was not there right so it was actually quite interesting you have you you've been sacked and soon after there was a no confidence motion against mr ben senik and then he chose to retire rather than go into go under the bus he chose to retire respectfully so can you remember that incident why uh, he was like once i was once i was gone i i was not f- not uh, uh i was not focusing on on what cricket. Uh, so you just managed. no i was focusing on cricket i i i did do i i was doing some development uh, uh work with cricket i i was i set up a something called a cricket champions league for mm. for junior players but i wasn't really involved in in the goings on that you're referring to mm-hmm. yeah. so the point i want like to highlight here is that there is a bylaws a laws to bring no motion confidence against the president right so if it was brought that time i don't know what it takes to bring this time but that's the board to take to the decision on right because for last one year there a lot of controversy around this cricket canada uh people are losing confidence but board is not losing so i i really feel what it takes to bring that right i'm not suggesting to bring it but there are a lot of reasons why we should be addressing this issue but i'm quite surprised that ben sanik was removed by you know a threat was threatened by this uh confidence motion but anyway coming back to your branding bringing the sponsorship yeah please continue so so we were able to lay out a calendar of events mm-hmm. uh and also um in parallel um we had the west indies come and play us for the first time mm-hmm. ever in a tri series mm-hmm. uh we were able to have pakistan zimbabwe and sri lanka mm-hmm. come and play us in a quadrangular series mm-hmm. uh it really um it really did wonders for the system mhm uh, our sponsors were very happy mhm obviously for the first time they were backing a team you mm-hmm. know domestically that was playing at the top level mhm um also i remember the game so when did this quadrangular uh, tournament happen like 2008 2008 and who were the main player uh, from canada to participate in that do you remember I cannot remember all the players okay. but I would say uh Rizwan Chima would have been there mm-hmm. I believe must have been Ashish Bagai Ashish Bagai was there uh, must yeah. must have been uh Karun Jethi mm-hmm. uh but I do remember one player mm-hmm. uh, I'm not sure if he's still in the system but I and I don't want to embarrass him mm-hmm. uh he was what stood between us and a win against Zimbabwe he let a ball go through his legs for four <laughs> and forever uh uh maybe he he carry that weight with him but i forget yeah. his name yeah. uh, but but I, i i can visualize uh um uh the last ball of the inning mm. and i think there were three or four runs to get and uh, mm-hmm. i think there were there were five runs for them to win mm-hmm. and zimbabwe scored a four right mm-hmm. through the legs of one of the players who misfielded it mm-hmm. but uh, uh i forget his name mm. to be honest Uh, but yeah some great times it tested the system what happens uh, when players It's are there they can make a mistake and 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 that would have been our first win as well yeah against a full member uh, in, in in a, in a T20 yeah uh, and but uh, some great innings i thought so played. where were this tournament held like in here or maple city king city where was so we uh, uh, we held them up in king city mm-hmm. uh because the crowds were very large mm to accommodate i thought uh, mm. you know within a uh, a local venue mm. and so uh, they were held up at king city so it clearly shows that you really need a tournament of world class or at least start building up those kind of tournament within canada whatever short calendar you have right 6 months 7 months uh but one opportunity we had always had was canada versus us rivalry yeah so do you think that that is the potential we never touched on and we never explored to its 
full potential uh, uh, to bring uh, more sponsorship and uh, awareness about cricket. But isn't that ongoing? No. The uh, uh, the uh, the Audi Cup? No, it is abandoned. Okay. No, so we we we've had that for I think 150 years. Yeah. Uh, so all thereabouts. So. Um, okay. So if you you bring you have been bring you know back into the system, would you like to start the initiative to? <laughs> I, I I don't think I, I don't know whom to blame whether it is a Cricket Canada or ICC America, but somewhere the communication was broken. Both were not available, and it never happened. At least for two years, I can see, tell you that it's not going on. So, so, so essentially, when you, when you want uh, sponsors, mm -hmm. uh, you, then they want mm -hmm. to promote their products. Mm -hmm. They want to be involved in, you know, in the community. Mm. So, all these events allow them to be involved in the community. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and, and they see value in that and then they will support you with a sponsorship. So okay. also your program, so you know, in addition to uh, us having international cricket, which is scheduled inter intercontinental cup with Kenya coming and a whole bunch of other countries coming to play us. Mm -hmm. We had this West Indies, uh, Bermuda Canada Tri-Series, we had the Quadrangular Series. We also put in place an under-19 program. Mm a women's cricket program mm. uh, and, and, and eventually we, we launched a schools program. Mm. Um, now the more your initiatives, mm. the more value your sponsors see in you. Yeah, so the problem I see here Mr. Ahuja and you can contribute more better than me that uh, one skill you need to bring sponsorship is presentation skill, present your case, present your product, yeah. branding, uh, communication style, your presentation style. Uh, I understand that there is a challenges, right? Um, product is not great because cricket nobody cares, mainstream society. Uh, hockey is more popular, I agree with those things. But uh, still there are a lot of potentials to bring at least some fund, right? So where do you think in the present lot of administrator, are these quality missing? Do you, any, do you see anybody in this board, current board, who can actually take this up and do this things the way you did it? See, I don't know who's on the board. So I can tell you, Mr. Ranjit Saini, Mohammed Sheikh, Yashpal Bajba, these are the people. I don't know them. Uh, I don't know you don't how. You know personally. No, I, I mean I don't know how they are as board members. I mean I've not served with them. No, on but a board. when you were doing organizing quadrangular series, mm. were they present in some capacity that time around you? They were in some capacity. Yes. Oh, who were present that time and learning from you? Uh, uh, Ranjit Saini was present. What was he doing that time? He was. Uh, Running the ground up in uh, uh, King City, I had uh, Mohammed Sheikh uh, was also. What uh, was he doing that time? He was then the uh, president of the Toronto and District Cricket Association. OTND. Okay. But 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 you know, um, uh, <coughs> structure of cricket needs to go beyond people. Yeah, there's uh, no system. So it needs to go beyond people. Uh, yeah. So, so when you ask me about. Uh, about you know people in the system, there were other people in the system. Why just them? And I don't know who all are on the board right now. But if these two are on the board, yeah, no. uh, there must be others on the board that were around. So who are right now? Ranjit Chaudhary is also on the board. I know Ranjit Chaudhary. Yes. He protector. was also also uh, a uh, a league president. So see, I have never I have never served with them on a board. So he I have no idea what they. Ranjit Chaudhary is still a league president of Hamilton League. So I don't know what the capabilities are. Hmm. You know. Uh, well, uh, the result is there to judge. I am not nobody to judge, uh, but for what is the what, what is the result? Our result is that we do have a GT20. GT20 did pour in some money, but other than GT20, we don't have any major sponsorship for last ten years. That's that's what I can tell you. Right. Well, so uh, I mean, I mean, uh, your question, uh, uh, Devesh, is. Uh, 
is sponsorship based on presentation skills? Uh, and I would say sponsorship is, is based on the quality of the product. Of the product. So it's important. But it also depends who is presenting that product. So yeah, so, so for example, yeah. uh, there is a link between winning mm -hmm. and sponsorship. Mm. So you must win on the field. That's important. That's because only then are you in the news. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not in the news. If you lose, yeah, that's what we. I mean, do you, do you hear about Sachin Tendulkar versus you know about a player who doesn't score? Right? But luckily, Sachin was in the system where people understand the meaning of branding. Yeah. They did not destroy Sachin Tendulkar. They built a Sachin Tendulkar brand. Yeah. And then everybody start earning out of it. Board was earning, provincial board was earning, everybody was earning around Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah. So they knew the importance. Here what I see is that sometimes I feel for players, players are destroyed rather than build up. So I don't see that constructive building up a player as a brand in Canada. Here the ego inflates, ego is flying high. And they say, how can the player be bigger than me? So if you have that attitude, you cannot build a player. As Who a says player. that? This is my feeling. This is my what I have been watching. All in around. in in cricket in sport administration, there is nobody bigger than the player. The player is number no, no, one. Nobody is bigger than the game. First of all, right? Yeah. And then the player. Absolutely. You build up a player. How do you build up a player? By a better support system. Yeah. better tournaments but we do not have the moment any player becomes bigger and start assuming a name and power the guy goes down the slide well it's Wh you know, why it is that you know you know uh, when mm -hmm. you are dealing with top rank players mm -hmm. uh, the way the system grows also is that you need to uh, listen to what they need yeah yeah the uni because every player has needs yeah and and um, Every player uh, carries a lot. Are you? Have you been a cricketer? Yeah, myself. Yes. So, so what? You a batsman or a bowler? A uh, batsman and wicketkeeper. So, if you played every week or every other week, um, at least the little that I played, I would carry in my head the tension that, oh, I've got to play this week and I've got to make sure we win and I've got to make sure I score fifty. Yeah. And 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 if I wouldn't, then the whole week is miserable. Yeah. So, so players carry, and this is you know at at levels below national level, yeah. international level. So players at that level carry a lot on their mind, mm -hmm. uh, and so they need to be heard, they need to be listened to. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know of the specific cases you're referring to, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, but essentially, no, I, I'm telling you the general feeling of the players when I talk to players. Yeah. And I gather all my information from the players, from the groundsmen, from the people walking around this ground, they are the common people who will tell you the feelings, right? There are media reports, they are, uh, when I interact with my administrator, I feel what I gather, that's my personal opinion also. Yeah. And I don't feel that we have enough, we have done enough to give a, a or build a support system for the players. That's very important to yeah. do. And, and so when you, uh, when you start winning, mm -hmm. Then your sponsors are also able to find top players and yeah. make and make them role models. Yeah. So, for example, mm -hmm. uh, if if we had a player from Canada who's scored ten or twenty hundreds, mm -hmm. right, or fifteen or ten hundreds in 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 a uh, uh, you know in a calendar year, mm -hmm. suddenly you can talk about it. Suddenly you can say, you know, as an example, it's ABC company mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. Well, ABC Player of the Year is, you know, yeah. is is so and so. So that's why. The other thing is that if you are in the news mm -hmm. for the right reasons, mm -hmm. then you attract sponsors. Mm -hmm. So sponsors want to be viewed as being associated mm -hmm. with positive contribution mm -hmm. to a national sport, mm -hmm. to a community sport. Yeah. So, um, I think what you are saying is right, like sponsorship is basic core system is that 
every sponsor needs viewership right they will not sponsor you unless they see there is a potential of his their products visibility right so also, that is the core also you know in, in international sport um, the wish um, selection is very important yeah to have um, merit based selection yeah uh, what that does is that even those that are not selected mm -hmm. when they see merit based selection mm -hmm. uh, they are able to reconcile to it the moment selection uh, is done in a manner that's not uh, you know uh, programmatic or or not in keeping with what is in the international standards yeah. Yeah. then you tend to again bring negativity in the system so okay. it's it's important okay. that the professionals run the sport uh, okay. and i think that is some of the reasons they wish that you asked me at the start that why uh, was a, was a ceo uh, you know mandated to be brought into the system here mm -hmm. uh, and i think the icc mandated that in a few countries that you must have a professional okay so that it's uh, uh, there isn't uh you know bias mm -hmm. there isn't uh, um so running a sport professionally okay has proved in every country yeah so with this uh, i would like to tell you that we have to go for the break uh, yeah. we'll come after the break and then we'll continue our discussion yeah so with this uh, we come to the end of the first part uh, see you after the break <laughs> Pandit Vijayaram, a famous astrologer and psychic healer. Palm reading, face reading, horoscope. Pandit Vijayaram का कहना है, इनके पास आपकी तमाम समस्याओं का हल है. काले जादू का तोड़, आपका महबूब आपके कदमों में, आपकी मैरिज, जॉब, कारोबार, बीमारी और कोर्ट के चरित्र समेत तमाम समस्याओं का हल. तमाम धर्मों के बहन भाइयों की मुश्किलात दूर कर सकते हैं. All religions welcome. पंडित विजय राम से रहा कीजिए सिक्स फोर सेवन थ्री नाइन वन टू वन थ्री थ्री सिक्स फोर सेवन थ्री नाइन वन टू वन थ्री थ्री एड्रेस फाइव थ्री थ्री जीरो यंग स्ट्रीट नॉर्थ यॉर्क टोरोंटो Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to State Bad with the Wish. Uh, as you know, we we are talking with uh, our esteemed. a guest mr atul ahuja the former ceo of cricket canada we were talking about sponsorship um, you know how to bring a sponsorship how to build a brand so and so forth um, but that time also a very interesting thing happened and that was that lot of advertisement was given uh, magazines were the top magazines were roped in for the advertisement and uh, uh, let's talk about briefly about that and then we'll go further from there so mr ahuja tell me about that that you started a advertisement process that time so which all magazines you approached and how they you know how did you manage those magazine to work for cricket canada so actually if i may uh, mm -hmm. uh, if i may we did not advertise mm -hmm. but a lot of magazines would contact us mm -hmm. because uh, there was a lot of uh, buzz buzz going around yeah, so you so created that around. buzz and then people started coming in right when you have a lot of international teams coming mm -hmm. and you have national championship happening mm. and you have a large national sponsor mm -hmm. and the government getting involved mm -hmm. automatically it's in their interest mm -hmm. to make sure the sport is vibrant and alive mm -hmm. when that happens uh you see um, a lot of publications wanting to come and see what is cricket mm -hmm. who does it touch mm -hmm. So uh, there's obviously an industry magazine called Marketing. Mm -hmm. It's Marketing Mag, mm -hmm. which is the marketing industry's magazine, mm -hmm. and uh, they approached us and they did a full feature, uh, oh. including a front page uh, feature on mm -hmm. cricket uh, okay. in 2008. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them 
saw cricket as the gateway mm -hmm. to marketing to the various communities that play cricket. Mm -hmm. So people that come from former cricket playing nations, you know. Mm -hmm. So obviously people from uh, India, Pakistan, mm -hmm. England, South mm -hmm. Africa, right, New Zealand, Australia, who live here, who follow the sport, Caribbean, I should, <laughs> mm -hmm. I should have mentioned them way up before. Uh, a lot of people from the Caribbean live here. So and so marketing profiled uh, cricket and they really got into the guts of who plays it, who follows it, mm -hmm. um, which are the international teams that have come here. So um, if you get a hold of this uh, issue from I think it's either October or September of, 20, of 2008 mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, I forget the exact month. If you get all of that, that that issue, you should be able to take a look at. Uh, uh, okay. That is one one such. The uh, the others would be a lot of newspapers would reach out and say talk about. Yeah. How cricket is changing uh, these communities because for the communities that play cricket, mm -hmm. um, their children are automatically drawn to the sport. So, as per your experience, what do you think that Cricket Canada should? involve in grassroots development at a school level or they should support somebody else to do that? What should be the better model to work on? Should they directly involve in cricket development in uh, school or they should facilitate through some different see, talent see, see, uh, manager? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So, uh, you know, cricket is broken down all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, into various, into various uh, layers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you have uh, at the uh, community layer, mm -hmm. at the schools layer, you have the largest number of players. Mm -hmm. And you have districts, mm -hmm. right? You have district teams, mm -hmm. you have state teams or provincial teams. And then you have regional teams. Mm -hmm. And so the same way, uh, the way cricket development at the national level works, there are two streams to it. Mm -hmm. One stream is the high performance mm -hmm. pathway stream, mm -hmm. where you pick up, you know, a large pool of say 500 players mm -hmm. from across the country who already play the sport. Uh, and then narrow it down to about your top 80, your top 50, your mm -hmm. top 30, mm -hmm. right? Then you create a, an elite pool of 25 or th 30 players, right? So that's the high performance stream. In parallel, you need to have a development stream mm. where it's important at the school level. Players mm. are being fed into the system. Uh, in the case of Canada, I think we are advantaged by the fact that in addition to the talent coming out of the schools or coming into the schools, a lot of children of people who immigrate mm. also bring the sport into the country. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, as, as, as an umbrella organization, mm -hmm. uh, the governing body, mm -hmm. uh, uh, definitely oversees all that, mm -hmm. but there are different responsibilities uh, and uh, that can be allocated and especially in a, in a, in a system where there is not a, not a lot of funds, the more volunteers you find mm -hmm. who can run a program, the better. So, so suggestion is that Cricket Canada should, in partnership with, with all the school board, should develop a uh, practical modus operandi or a uh, structure where they can bring some good talent from the school level, right? So that's what the objective of Cricket Canada should be, to bring talent from the cricket uh, development in grassroots level, right? Yeah, because the grassroots... And how to sustain feeds. that talent. Yeah, it's a sustainable yeah. feeding because mechanism. The problem we are facing is that, first of all, we do not have any grassroots level, grassroots development as such. Uh, we talk about is that we do have, but in reality there is nothing. Uh, but un until under 19, the moment the player graduate after 19 and go to colleges or universities, we lost, we lose those players because there is no bridge between under 19 to the higher level. So we more often than not, we lose many players because those are the university peri uh, period and there is no incentive in cr to stay in the cricket and focus in cricket, right? So that's where the player goes for their livelihood and they leave cricket. So that is also a challenge. Well, you know, uh, when you have a high performance program, 
uh, you want to at least keep your top 50, top 40 pool constantly playing. And how do you do that? By? By, by having sponsors, by having funds in the uh, system. Yes. And uh, that's that's very important. No, we do have a fund. No? One million is, but uh, one even one million is not enough. Whereas you had less than one million at that time, I will suppose, and you still managed to de give a contract. We were very frugal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we were very. Uh, we 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 used to uh, keep our costs. So how did you very very low, very low. We we. Uh, <laughs> I, I always felt and, and you know, I always felt that every dollar mm -hmm. we save, I put into a player's pocket. And if I put into a player's pocket, I, I hopefully get, uh, I hopefully get an extra run out of him <laughs> or an extra boundary So, how did you him. manage that? And two question is a loaded question that how did you manage at one hand Mr. Ben Sanik and how did you manage on the other side Mr. Pubudu? Because they are their own personality, right? And uh, you have to take work from Pubudu, but Pubudu has independent mind to work, and he is a very hard worker. So how did you manage? You gave him all the liberty he wanted. How did you operate it with Pubudu, whereas no other people can operate with Pubudu in Canada since then? And uh, you had a very successful uh, working relationship with Pubudu. Yeah, we were very. Uh, I think we had a very good working relationship. Uh, Pubudu is a former Test player. Yeah, so uh, he knows more about cricket than pretty much many people in this country. So we need to recognize. Uh, I don't know how many players we have who has played eleven Test matches and yeah. sixteen ODI uh, in Canada at the higher level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, also, so uh, uh, you know, uh, he um, he had a lot of good ideas, mm -hmm. uh, and yes, he reported into me. Hmm. And uh, I was very keen that we implement as many of those ideas as possible. Uh, okay. And I think uh, uh, I was quite clear mm -hmm. uh, that uh, whatever he wanted to do, uh, he gets if, if, yeah, if, if it was in keeping with what is the best practice, and most of it was, a lot of it was. And he was paid? Oh, yeah, he was the national head coach. He's paid. And, 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 and he, there was a he, contract with the... National coach. Yeah, he was a national head coach. He reported into the high CEO and high performance manager, and and he uh, he was able to do. Uh, I guess it's a question you got to ask him. I I felt I let him do most things he wanted to do, whether it was technology, whether it was nutritioning, whether it was injury management, whether it was the mm. uh, getting a psychologist, whether it was the women's program. Mm. Uh, uh, while I think there was a lot of people in the system who who may have thought differently, I made sure whatever he wanted. Hmm. Uh, no one touched him okay. in the system. Okay, so you had the secret to manage Pubudu. Okay, so nobody. No, else there's no it. secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, because, I, I, because you know there is a. You see, he is one of the best. He yeah. has proven record. It is not that we are inflating some results. Yeah. He he qualified. He led qualified Canada in yeah. 2011, and then he went to Nepal. Nepal is now in ODI status yeah, <coughs> and then he came back to US, see where US is. So there is no, there is no, uh, you know, any lie here. Everything, the result is at the ground to see. Yeah. So yeah. still, but Canada I, I, is I, not able to I, pick I, that I, guy. Yeah. So it may, it must be somebody's ego which is barring him to come into Canada's cricketing system. That's what I can tell you. Uh, I am not aware of the second part of uh, your yeah. question, but I, I do know that at the time, mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, uh, you know, he did not have the weight of having got Nepal as an ODI or the yeah. US or yeah. you know, the World Cup qualifier. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I've run uh, teams long enough mm -hmm. and organizations long enough to know uh, that uh, he was on the right track. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and whenever someone tried to get in the way, mm -hmm. uh, I was there to make sure that you know there was a good reason. Uh, for them to, but uh, he, he, he probably, is a, it's a question to ask him, was he able to do what he wanted to do? And I think he probably was. Okay, so now we'll jump to some lighter side of my program because <laughs> we, we have become, the atmosphere has become very intense. So let it make, m let's make it lighter. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about the movie in which you gave uh, music as well. <laughs> you wrote a, 
uh, song and uh, you also yeah. sang that song right the sky is pink uh, the, the sky is pink and very famous movie uh, starring farhan akhtar and uh, priyanka chopra that's right so right. how did that happen from well, cricket to music so when did you start in and how did you land in that movie well uh, you know i've always had an interest in music mm -hmm. uh, a lot of us do a lot of us listen to it mm. some of us try to sing it mm. so i think i'm well i'm 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 trying to learn guitar but i'm not a very successful in yeah. that in 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 that endeavor but anyway tell me so so in the latter uh, you know i took some interest in uh, and so uh, i've always you know had a little band or always done some karaoke mm -hmm. and uh, so over the years i've been you know singing with a band mm -hmm. uh, in various parts of the world i keep going and doing a show here and there and the other and at one of these shows uh, the director of this movie Mm -hmm. uh, the sky is pink mm -hmm. uh came to watch the show mm -hmm. with one of the central characters mm -hmm. who used to play guitar with me many mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. and uh and they watched me do a show and then 3 years after that show she got in touch and said hey i got a scene in this movie i'm doing mm -hmm. uh and would you write me a song mm -hmm. initially she said would you come and do a cameo like just sing a song mm -hmm. uh and then she eventually asked me if i'd write a song Mm. And so I did. And uh the story is about a little child who's born with an immune deficiency. Mhm. Mm and um this child knows that she is she's got a short life ahead of her. Mhm. And uh so the song is about her. And mm. so when she explained the scene to me, uh you know, I wrote, well, as I stand, mhm, mm I stand tall. Mhm. Even if No, I heard that music the and sky it was would excellent. fall. Majestic voice. uh but let's complete my rapid fire and then sure. we'll leave our audience with uh, that song uh, for to sure. enjoy your music yeah so rapid fire you can skip and or you can answer it is this is this complete. like is it like one of the karan jor's coffee with karan uh, <laughs> short of but i do not have anything to give it to you <laughs> <laughs> but let's audience decide right yeah. so are you in touch with anybody in cricket canada uh in no no okay when you say in touch means do you speak to them no are you no. like no no okay how do we uh lost 2012 world cup under 19 world cup hosting it was in media uh i wasn't in cricket canada at the time mhm mm uh It's a question for whoever the president uh, was at the time. Mm -hmm. um, there were some requirements that the ICC had for the hosting nation to fulfill. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, so, when I came into Cricket Canada mm -hmm. uh, in 2007, mm -hmm. we knew that uh, we were going to be hosting the 2012 Under-19 World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, it was something that we'd secured. um why we didn't host it uh, mm. why we didn't meet those terms and conditions uh, i think that's something uh, that uh, cricket canada should comment on mm -hmm. so you when you were here you actually secured it but we lost it in 2012 and we do not have any explanation for that yeah we 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 confirmed uh, our willingness uh, and desire okay to to host the 2019 uh, the 2012 under 19 world cup what what comes to your mind bad or good when you think about cricket state in the state of cricket in canada you can relate to any object oh cricket in canada is growing mm -hmm. um in terms of numbers mm -hmm. um and that's all i see so generic uh, when you see uh, ranjit saini sitting at as a president and you have seen him working with you when back in 2008 2009 and you said that he was head of that ground uh, what do you term that success or how do you how do you think that is a good luck or it is his hard work is it relevant to cricket is it relevant no but this is a rapid fire say yes no what do you think is a good luck or it is hard work you know uh, cricket is has to be beyond a person 
Yeah, it is not. Current state is it is all about person here. Cricket can only succeed if you have a process mm -hmm. and a system. Okay. So if, if you ask me a question about a person, I think we're already. Uh, <laughs> so what is what is the reason that and it is not about Mr. Ranjit Sen. It is about Mohammad Sheikh, uh, Ranjit Chaudhary. Uh, what is his name? Uh, Brampton Cricket League head, um, Prem Prasad. You see everywhere in Canada, and I am not picking one guy. They are president for like lifelong. So do you think? <laughs> Is it a workable? This is not about system. This is about a person. So we have to talk talk about a person, right? And I am not blaming. Maybe they are the, in their position because nobody is challenging them, right? But it is all about system, uh, person, not a system, because they have been the front face for last twenty years, fifteen years, five years, more than seven years. So when you see this kind of scenario, you say, where is the system? There is a person who is running the show, okay? Well, you know, uh, in anything you do, mm -hmm. if it means enough to you, mm -hmm. right, uh, if it means enough to you mm. uh, as a community, mm -hmm. uh, there is a way of getting what you want. Okay. Where did you hear about me? Oh, through... Uh, um, Social media, internet? No, I, 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 I heard about you through somebody in... In cricket, but not in Cricket Canada. Good or bad? <laughs> um, actually, neither. Okay. They, 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 it, 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 they made no comment about mm -hmm. in, the, in the negative or the positive. Okay, so that's good. It means I'm neutral. Are you planning to join Cricket Canada by any sort? Not at all. Not at all? So I, can, no I, I, I cannot plan to join an organization. I'm thinking of? No. <laughs> no? No. Because I, I will tell you why I have asked. Because the moment people will see you on my program yeah. and there is an election coming up, they will relate it. Oh, yeah. So I want you to make it clearly. And it is, there is nothing wrong. You can go back to your word and say, no, I want to fight it for president. And I will welcome that. So that's fine for me. Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, so to answer your question, mm. uh, uh, no. No. Yeah. But do you think that if they create a position of uh, CEO and they offer everybody come and give the presentation, you would like to go and give your presentation? I, I, I'm always happy to help. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Who is your all-time favorite Canadian cricketer? One name. I'm not able to name no. anyone. I put you know, you know, you know, you know. To me, yeah. uh, a favorite cricketer has to be two or three things. Mm -hmm. One, excellence in self. Mm -hmm. Excellent as a team man, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and an excellent ability mm -hmm. to talk to the high performance system and bring systemic change. So, do you think that nobody in that criteria fits in Canada? Nobody has that ability. Has no, no, no. Nobody has been able to do it. Show it. I, I, do I it. don't. I don't know if they have the ability, but I haven't seen anyone do it. Do it. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so, with this, it comes to an end. Uh, thank, thanks a lot for joining me on my show, uh, and I would like to tell my audience that it was very entertaining and very informative talking to you. Uh, a lot of information I gather from Mr. Ahuja, from your experience. Um, and I will leave my audience with the music, which is given by Mr. Oh. Ahuja. <laughs> and please enjoy and let me know how did you like it. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. <laughs> Sit 